Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of brinjal crop. Brinjal has different names in different languages. In Hindi, it is called Bengan. The botanical or scientific name of brinjal is Solana melongena and it belongs to the family Solanaceae. Brinjal fruit is a globose to oblong fleshy berry 2 to 35 cm long and 2 to 20 cm broad. The fruit is generally smooth and shiny and has many seeds. Brinjal plant which includes stems and leaves are densely covered with star-shaped hairs and sometimes prickles. The leaves are arranged alternately along the stem. Brinjal flowers are usually solitary and are supported by a 1 to 3 cm long stalk. Flowers are 3 to 4 cm in diameter and mostly violet and sometimes white in color. Before we proceed with the entire cultivation process for brinjal crop, it is important for us to know the required climatic conditions. Brinjal is a warm season crop and therefore susceptible to frost. Low temperature causes deformation of brinjal fruits. A long and warm growing season is desirable for successful production and yield. A daily mean temperature between 13 degrees centigrade and 20 degrees centigrade is most desirable for proper growth and yield. The seeds of brinjal germinate well at 25 degrees centigrade. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation process of brinjal crop. The stages are land preparation, drip irrigation arrangement, seedlings cultivation in nursery, transplantation, pest and disease management, flowering and fruit formation and harvesting and yield. Let us now see how the land is prepared for the cultivation. Brinjal crop can be grown in all types of soil varying from light sandy to heavy clay. However, low and sandy soil of both normal and higher quality are best suited for the cultivation of brinjal crop. The soil should be fertile and well drained. Brinjal can grow in adverse conditions also. Brinjal has great adaptability in soil having high pH. Brinjal crop is 10 to 12 months crop. So, the soil should be thoroughly prepared by ploughing 4 to 5 times before transplanting the seedlings. After ploughing, we need to add bulky organic manure. Rotten cow dung or compost should be incorporated evenly on the soil. Brinjal is a heavy feeder crop. Therefore, a balanced application of manure and fertilizers is very important for successful crop production. Well rotten farmyard manure or compost around 200 to 250 quintals per hectare should be incorporated at the time of field preparation. The crop should be supplemented with 100 to 120 kgs of nitrogen and 50 to 60 kgs of phosphorus and 50 to 60 kgs of potash per hectare. The land preparation is now complete. We will now arrange the drip irrigation system for irrigating the field. Drip irrigation helps save water and fertilizer by allowing water to drip slowly to the roots of plants either onto the soil surface or directly into the root zone through a network of walls, pipes, tubing and emitters. Overhead irrigation wets the plants but produces runoff. In contrast, drip irrigation is a controlled irrigation method. It 
works by exposing the roots to a direct supply of water. Drip irrigation system releases water in a slow and steady fashion and a, and a controlled amount of water is supplied to plants at regular intervals. The protrays are filled with coco peat and a small depression of around 0.5 cm is made with fingertip in the center for sowing. One seed per cell is sown and covered with medium. Coco peat has high moisture retention capacity, hence the need for irrigation does not arise until germination. After sowing, 10 trays are kept each over the other for 3 to 6 days. The entire stacks are covered with polythene sheet to conserve moisture until germination. On germination of seedlings, trays are shifted to net house and spread over the beds to avoid evaporation. The trays are irrigated every day depending on the prevailing weather conditions using a fine sprinkling rose can or hose pipe fitted with rose. Trays are drenched with fungicides such as copper oxychloride as a precautionary measure against seedling mortality. Spraying of 0.3% around 3 grams per liter of water soluble fertilizer at 12th and 20th days after sowing is practiced to enhance the growth of the seedlings. The trays are provided with protective cover from rain by covering with polythene sheets in the form of low tunnel during rains. Systematic insecticides are sprayed 7 to 10 days after germination and before transplanting for managing the insect vectors. The seedlings are ready for transplanting in about 21 to 42 days. Once the nursery cycle is complete, trays and shade net are removed and stored in a safe place to be reused in the next season. Let us now understand the transplantation process in the field. The seedlings are ready in 4 to 5 weeks for transplanting when they attain a height of 12 to 15 centimeters with 3 to 4 leaves. Harden the seedlings by withholding irrigation. Uproot the seedlings carefully without causing injury to the roots. Transplanting should be done during evening hours followed by irrigation. Firmly press the soil around the seedlings. Care should be taken not to injure the roots of seedlings. Thereafter, seedlings should be transplanted maintaining distance of 75 cm between lines and 60 cm between seedlings in lines. Irrigation should be provided at 10 to 15 days intervals if there is deficit moisture in soil or the soil becomes dry. The soil should be made friable with the help of drip irrigation. Weeds have to be removed regularly. Let us now talk about pest and disease management in the cultivation process of brinjal crop. About 16 species of insects and one species of mite can cause harm to brinjal crop. The brinjal shoot and fruit borer 
plays the big bad enemy. The insects bore the twigs and fruits of Brinjal. The infested twigs and fruits should be collected and destroyed. Malathion or Sumithion is to be sprayed by mixing 10 milliliters of the chemical with 10 liters of water. Brinjal fruit borer is controlled by spraying Malathion. Aphids can be controlled by spraying Monocrotophos. The major diseases that can attack brinjal crop are alternaria blight, damping off and bacterial wilt. To control alternaria blight, drenching the soil with a mixture of bavistin is preferred. To control damping off, avoid overwatering and drench the beds with captan or thirum at 5 to 7 days after transplantation. Brinjal plant flowers at 30 to 40 days after transplanting. Brinjal fruits should be collected before the seeds become hard. The brinjal fruits are harvested when they attain full size and color but before they start ripening. The fruits must be harvested as soon as they have attained the desired size, color and before they lose their bright, glossy appearance and become dull. The fruits are edible from the time they are at the quarter stage of growth until they are near ripe. Tenderness, bright color and glossy appearance of fruit means that the stage is optimum for the fruits to be harvested. When the fruits look dull, it is an indication of maturity and loss of quality. The yield varies from season to season, variety to variety and location to location. However, in general, 250 to 500 quintals per hectare of healthy fruits of brinjal can be obtained. Generally, per 40 square meter yield of brinjal is 140 kgs. The fleshy calyx and the short piece of stalk are left attached to the fruit. Harvest the brinjal when the skin of the fruit is shiny and unwrinkled. Brinjal can be stored for up to 2 weeks in humid conditions no lower than 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Storing in the refrigerator preserves the brinjal fruits for several days. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of brinjal crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorial on the cultivation process of a different crop. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.